Are you tired of boring slide presentations that take hours to put together? Well, you're gonna love this because in this video, I'm partnering with Prezi to show you how their AI-powered presentation tool can take you from a rough idea to a stunning, engaging presentation in seconds. And unlike traditional slide tools, Prezi lets you create dynamic, non-linear presentations that grab your audience's attention and keep them focused on what matters. So if you're ready to ditch dull slides for good, stick around because I'm gonna show you exactly how to get started with Prezi AI and make your next presentation unforgettable. And be sure to visit prezi.com forward slash Ben to try Prezi along with me as I walk you through the tutorial. And you can access that link in the video description below. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Welcome to Prezi AI. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the dashboard and feel free to skip ahead if you wanna jump right in and create a presentation, but if not, stick around. Okay, on the left-hand side, you'll see the main sidebar, which gives you access to everything that you need, your presentations, videos, infographics, your full library, brand kit, trash, and even any folders that you've created. Back in the main dashboard, whatever you select from the sidebar will display right in the center of the screen. So if you click on presentations, for example, you'll see all of your saved projects and drafts right in front of you. And up in the top right corner, you've got a simple toolbar with quick access to help, notifications, and your account settings. Okay, now that you're familiar with the layout, let's move on and create a presentation with Prezi AI. So at the top of your dashboard, you'll see two ways to get started. The plus new presentation and create with AI. The new presentation option is best if you wanna build everything from scratch. You could choose your own template, set the structure and fully control the content and layout from the beginning. But for this tutorial, we're using the AI powered option. So go ahead and click where it says create with AI. And first you'll be asked to enter a title for your presentation. In this example, I'm using how to start a wordpress.org blog. And then once you've typed in your title, click continue. Next, Prezi AI asks for a bit more details about your topic. This helps it understand what kind of content you're creating. I'm adding a quick summary that says how to start a wordpress.org blog from start to finish, from choosing a topic to selecting web hosting to installing wordpress.org and publishing a blog post. Then once it's filled out, go ahead and click Generate to let the AI do its thing. You'll see a quick loading screen while Prezi AI creates your presentation, and it takes a few moments as it structures your content, adds visuals, and organizes everything into a clean layout. You'll get a preview of the structure on the right side of the screen, and it shows how your content is grouped into sections with sub points under each one. Then once the presentation finishes loading, you'll see your title slide with the full design laid out in front of you. From here, you could go through the presentation slide by slide to preview it. Additionally, you'll see a sidebar appear on the right hand side. Here you could start customizing the presentation, adjusting fonts, change colors, select a design style, and more. And if you're not happy with the first version, you could always click recreate your presentation to try again with a new variation. Then the way these presentations are laid out is that each section of the presentation is grouped into what Prezi calls a planet topic, highlighted here. Then within each planet topic are subtopics that contain slides. You'll get a better idea of how it works as we go through the preview of the presentation. And on that note, let's check it out really quick by clicking the arrow there towards the bottom of the screen, and that will take us through the presentation. First, it zooms us into the first planet topic, which is ironically choosing a topic. Then you'll see that within this planet topic, there are multiple subtopics, which again are individual slides. And clicking the arrow again will zoom us into each subtopic slide, where you'll see some text and maybe an image. All of this is customizable within the editor, by the way, which we'll do in just a sec. 
But this preview gives you a good feel for the content of the presentation and the look and feel of it as well. But as I mentioned, all of this is 100% customizable. Also, when you're done going through the presentation, click the home button and that will take you back to the home slide, which is the first one in the deck. Okay, now that we have our presentation, let's start to edit it and customize it even further. Once your presentation is generated, you'll see a preview on the left and a customization panel on the right. This is where you can adjust the look and feel of your entire deck before diving into the content. Start with the color palette, font style, and design them to match your topic. Prezi offers several options which update on your presentation instantly, so you can experiment with what works best for you. And as you can see, I'm going pretty quick here through my edits, but it's basically point, click, and the changes will show up on your preview. You can switch between all these options as much as you like, and then once you've settled on a style that fits your topic, click the button at the bottom labeled Go to the Editor to start working with the actual content inside your presentation. This is where you can fine tune your presentation content and layout. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the frame timeline. Each frame is like a slide, and you can zoom into any of them by clicking on it. You can also add new frames or rearrange the order to better fit your story. In the center is your canvas. This is the main visual area where your presentation comes to life. You can click into any element to move, resize, or edit it directly. This flexible layout makes it easy to visualize how all of your points connect. At the top, you'll find the main toolbar. Here you can change the style, which allows you to customize colors, fonts, and backgrounds. Or you can add text, insert media like images and videos, draw shapes, apply animations, and access more editing tools. These options give you full control over how your message is delivered. Along the bottom, there's a navigation bar that helps you zoom in and out, reset the view, or jump back to the home position. It's helpful for quickly repositioning your canvas as you move between frames. Okay, next let's edit individual slides. So from the left-hand sidebar, you can scroll through the different slides. Here you can make changes to individual slides by clicking on any frame in the timeline. And in this example, we're editing the slide titled Creating Engaging Content. This zooms in on the slide and gives you a larger preview to work with on the right. And everything here is customizable in real time. You'll notice that as I hover my mouse over different elements of the slide, you'll see a border appear around it. This means you can edit that element and take your customization even further. For example, if I click directly on this heading, you can edit it just like you would in a regular document. Here I'm adding the word super to the title. Then above the text box, you'll see formatting options like font style, size, bold, italic, alignment, and bullet points. You could also use the Ask AI button to turn your paragraph into bullet points, shorten or expand your text, simplify the language, or even create a flow chart or animated story based on the content. Want to update an image? Just click it and you'll get options to replace, crop, or link it. You can choose from AI recommended visuals, stock images, or your own uploads. You can also add GIFs, stickers, and icons, giving you full control over each slide so you can customize your presentation to match your message and style. Now, undoing changes is as simple as clicking the undo or redo buttons in the upper left corner of the toolbar, again, giving you full control over your edits and the content within each slide. Okay, now that we've gone over editing your slides, let's take a quick look at how to preview and present your final Prezi. Now, for the sake of time, I won't make any additional edits to this one, but hopefully you've seen how quick and intuitive the editor is. And whether you're updating text, swapping images, or styling your design, everything is designed to be fast and user-friendly. Okay, to preview your presentation, in the top right corner of the editor, you'll see the preview eyeball icon, and clicking this allows you to step into your presentation as if you're the viewer. So you could check transitions, animations, and the layout before going live. This is a great way to catch any final tweaks that you might want to make. Then once you're satisfied with the preview, head back to the editor, 
then ready to present, hit the present button to start a live session, enter presenter view, or record a video. Presenter view shows your notes, upcoming slides, and a timer to help with pacing. And this setup allows you to stay organized and confident as you present, even if you're managing a lot of content. And finally, if you wanna share your work or collaborate with a team, just hit the share icon and you can get a direct link, export the presentation to PDF, share a broadcast version, or invite collaborators to work with you in real time. So there you have it. With Prezi AI, it's faster, easier, and way more engaging to create stunning presentations that stand out from the typical slide deck. No more wasting hours designing slides that put your audience to sleep. Instead, you get dynamic, flowing presentations in just a few clicks. And if you're ready to transform the way you present, try Prezi AI for yourself by visiting the link in the video description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.